Good morning. This is your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. Seeing sunny conditions out there as well as some windy conditions this morning as those winds have overachieved what was expected as we move through the morning. We are currently in a wind advisory at this time, seeing peak winds up around 35 miles per hour over the last hour, but we're starting to see temperatures warm into the 40s. We should trend towards some quieter weather to end the work week before we see rain chances move back into the area. If we look at the current surface analysis, we can see that cold front that moved through last night bringing those wind and rainy conditions uh, well out of the area. We'll start to see this area of high pressure building eastward over the region, and that's going to help return to more seasonable and quiet weather to end the work week. Looking at the upper lev level winds from this morning's sounding, we got winds out of the northwest near the surface becoming more westerly as we get up in the mid and upper layers, seeing our peak wind of 86 knots at 16,000 feet. And the freezing level today is at 900 feet. Looking at the current visible satellite, we can see those clear skies across the area as well as those uh, breezy to slightly breezy winds out of the northwest across the region as well. If we look at the European model here, it's starting zoomed out as we go through the short and longer term forecast. We'll see that area of high pressure building eastward over, over the local region that's going to keep things quiet and seasonable for Friday and we'll see an increase of high clouds as we go through today as this uh, next disturbance starts to approach the region. Uh, could see a few showers out ahead of it uh, before midnight Friday evening but bulk of the activity should hold off till after midnight and we'll see uh, widespread showers moving through the area overnight into Saturday morning likely continuing into much of the day on Saturday particularly during the first half of the day. And then as we get later in the day, we'll see uh, more isolated to scattered uh, showers around. But this weak area of low pressure will pass pretty close to the Wallops area, and we'll see a period of some uh, slightly breezy to breezy winds as that happens. Uh, not expecting winds like we've seen the last 24 hours, but nonetheless slightly breezy. Then that system should start to move off to the northeast, and things should dry out as we go into the day on Sunday. A weak high pressure uh, becomes the main influencer over the local area as we go through the beginning of next week, but we'll have some cloudy conditions expected through the uh, extended forecast here as we go through much of the beginning of the week. And as we get into the middle of the week, uh, reasonable agreement with the modeling that we'll see another area of low pressure coming together with some upper level support and moving into the region. Uh, very slight chance of maybe seeing an isolated shower on Tuesday, but a bulk of the rain should move into the area particularly during the second half of the day on Wednesday and potentially continuing as we go into the day on Thursday. So if we look at our 24-hour weather risk chart for today, we do have that red risk of those winds out above 25 knots this morning as we are currently in a wind advisory seeing those wind gusts up around 28 knots. We should see those start to uh, weaken as we get into the afternoon hours, expecting those winds to move more out of the west northwest around 8 to 13 knots gusting up to 18 knots by the time we get to the end of the day today but we'll see our high temperature around 45 degrees and expecting sunny conditions uh, with just maybe a few high clouds around as we go through the day going into the evening time frame we'll see mainly clear skies with just a few high clouds and we'll see those winds becoming light and variable that's going to allow those temperatures to cool down to around 29 degrees and then we see more of an easterly wind as we get to the start of the day on friday and increasing high clouds around. Tides are running slightly below normal at this time in our next couple of days. Again, pretty nice day on Friday, partly cloudy early on, then we'll see those increasing high and mid clouds as we get later in the day. But a seasonal day with a high around 49 degrees and green conditions for our weather risk. Uh, we start picking up the red risk for precip as well as uh, there's orange risk for reduced ceilings and visibilities as we go into Friday evening, again, mainly after midnight. And then we'll pick up a yellow risk for those winds that are above 25 knots with those slightly breezy conditions as that area of low pressure passes through. But uh, expecting a low around 42 degrees, so back to more milder temperatures. And that continues into Saturday with the same uh, risk profile for Saturday as well. As we go through today, rain showers likely continuing. And then we'll start to see a gradual decrease as we get uh, later in the day for Saturday. If we look at our extended forecast, we see mostly cloudy conditions for Sunday and Monday with pretty similar temperature profiles with lows in the mid-40s and highs in the upper 50s. And that continues as we go into the middle of the week as well with mostly cloudy day on Tuesday. Very slight chance of maybe isolated a shower around 
ahead of that next system, but overall similar temperatures with a low of 44 and a high of 57. That continues into Wednesday when we start to pick up that chance of rain. Looking at about a 50% chance of rain at this time. We'll see some slightly breezy conditions as well. Again, and seeing some reasonable agreement with the modeling here, so a uh, good chance of seeing some wet weather by the middle of the week next week. That's going to wrap up the 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We'll be back again tomorrow at 8.15 and 10 a.m. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day.